Hi everybody, Johnny here. Hope you're having a great day. If you want to find more good math, go to my math page at jmathpage.com. Lots of good stuff for you there. Today we're looking at multiplying by threes. Now, you may have seen this in your class or at home when you're thinking about multiplication. You may have seen a list like this. 1 times 3, 2 times 3, 3 times 3. This is a good list. It's the times table. 4 times 3, 5 times 3, 6 times 3, 7 times 3, 8 times 3, 9 times 3, and 10 times 3. And you may want to know your threes, and you may memorize, memorize them, which would be great too. But today we're going to think about them a little differently. We're going to think about them in terms of skip counting. And using skip counting, we can think about them in a way that may help us memorize them as well. Now I'm going to use a little tool to help me to do this. So I'm going to use a hundreds chart. All right. And with skip counting, I just want to make sure that I'm counting by a certain number over and over again. So in this case, I want to be counting by threes. So I'm looking at every one of these as a multiple of three. So when I'm looking at my chart, if I'm going to count by threes, I need to start at the beginning. Count by threes. One, two, three. Okay, that's one. One, two, three. Another. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. 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 One, two, Two, three. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Are you? One, two, three. One, two, three. What are you seeing? One, two, three. 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 Look, I stop at ninety nine. Well, I suppose if the hundreds chart went longer, I could continue this pattern. What patterns do you notice? Now, some of you will notice that there are these diagonals going across. And that's a very interesting thing. I see that every one of these has a diagonal going across. And that was pretty obvious early on. So we're having these diagonals that go all the way across. What other things do you notice? Notice another thing. I notice that when I look down the columns, what do you see that happens down the columns? I see a different kind of skip counting. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look at the next one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And then three in the next column. That's interesting. So the 
skip counting happens horizontally and vertically. Now look at some of the digits as well. I see a 3, I see a 1 and a 2, I see a 1 and a 2. So what do those digits do? Look at the digits here. I see a 6, I see a 1 and a 5, I see a 4 and a 2, I see a 1, 5, a 2, 4, a 3, 3. Something's happening with those digits too. So there's lots of interesting things happening in this skip counting. Let's use this to help us understand our table over here. So let's start with 1 times 3. If we go 1 times 3, that means we've skip counted once. 1 times 3 is equal to the first skip count was here. So this is the first one. So we'll say this is 3. 2 times 3, we're going to skip count twice this time. We skip counted once, we go to the second skip count, and now we have 6. 3 times 3 is skip counting 3 3 times. 1, 2, this is the one we want this time. 9. 3 skip counted 4 times. Once, twice, three, fourth time for skip counting gives us 12. Three skip counted five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Five times three is 15. Three skip counted six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six equals 18. Three skip counted seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven gives us 21. Three skip counted eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight gives us 24. Three skip counted nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine gives us 27 equals 27. 10 skip counted, sorry, 3 skip counted 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And that equals 30. All right. So far, so good. Now there's something interesting that I notice. If I look here, I see that 3 is a multiple of 3. I see that 6 is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3. But I look at the 12, it's a multiple of 3, but I'm mostly interested in the digits. I see that there's a 1 and a 2. A 1 and a 2. But I also notice that if I add the 1 and the 2, I get 3. What happens with the other ones? Look at this. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 and 5 are the digits of 15. What is 1 plus 5? That equals 6. 3 and then 6. What's going to happen to the next one? I look at 6 times 3 equals 18. Let me add the digits. 1 and 8 make 18. If I add them together, 1 plus 8 equals 9. Oh, there's a pattern showing up here. Let's go to the next one. 7 times 3 equals 21. 2 and 1 are the digits of 21. 2 and 1 make 21. If I add them together, I get 3. Oh boy. 8 times 3 equals 24. 2 and 4 
make 24. If I add those together, I get a 6. What's going to happen next? 9 times 3 equals 27. Okay, so 2 and 7 make 27. If I add those together, I get 9. And the last one, 10 times 3 equals 30. 30 is made up of 3 and 0. If I add those together, I get 3. Look at the pattern here. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3, just like up here. 5 times 3 is, equals 15. 1 and 5 make 6, just like here. 6 times 3 equals 18. 1 and 8 make 9, following our pattern. 7 times 3 equals 21. 2 and 1 more make 3. Back to up here again, 3. 8 times 3 equals 24. 2 and 4 make 6, following our pattern. 9 times 3 equals 27. 2 and 7 more make 9. There goes our pattern again. And the last one, 10 times 3 equals 30. 3 and no more make 3, and we start our pattern again. That's pretty amazing. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is think about these for yourself. I'm going to leave a lot of things here, but I want you to try to solve some of these for yourself. So I'm going to take these away. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to think about them for yourself. Now you can look at the pattern we just found out, or you can look at the table that we made with the hundreds chart, but do these for yourself, okay? So this first one, let's think about it together. 1 times 3 equals, what do you think? 2 times 3 equals, 3 times 3 equals, 4 times 3 equals, 5 times 3 equals, 6 times 3 equals, 7 times 3 equals, 8 times 3 equals, 9 times 3 equals, 10 times 3 equals. How'd you do? I'm going to test you again, this time a little differently. I'm going to ask you them out of order. So see how well you can do this time. Are you ready? 9 times 3 equals 2 times 3 equals 8 times 3 equals 3 times 3 equals 7 times 3 equals, 4 times 3 equals, 6 times 3 equals, 5 times 3 equals, 10 times 3 equals, and I saved you one for last, which one did I leave out? Yes, 1 times 3 equals. So how did you do? 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 3 equals 12. 5 times 3 equals 15. 6 times 3 equals 18. 7 times 3 equals 21. 8 times 3 equals 24, 9 times 3 equals 27, and 10 times 3 equals 30. So I hope this was useful to you. We looked at multiplying by threes using skip counting, and we looked at the hundreds chart and some patterns in the hundreds chart, but we also looked at some patterns in the digits themselves from these results over here. 
and I really do hope this was helpful for you. Look for other videos. I'll be doing other numbers as well.